think this AP round's gonna go through two logs and penetrate the perpetrator behind it, trying to hide behind the tree. Let's find out. Fire in the hole. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Foster's Farm and Garage here on YouTube. If y'all uh, like what you see here and want to support the channel, please hit the like and sub button. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to Foster's Farm. Uh, if you ever thought uh, in a gunfight, a uh, tree would protect you from a uh, rifle round? Well, we're here to figure that out today. Uh, what I've got, I've got a AR-15 with a few different types of ammo. Penetrator rounds. This is a green tip. So we'll see if this round can penetrate. And then this is a 30 out 6 armor ground. See if you're safe behind a tree when you're shot at. So let's, uh, let's figure that myth out. We're going to. We're gonna load this magazine here. See, I've got some regular shooting practice rounds. We're gonna load that with a green tip. And we're going to put that in that bad boy. But these are the rounds I wanna talk about. Um, these are old military surplus rounds and we've had them, I guess, since I was a kid. <laughs> So, uh, they're pretty dirty. I kind of try to clean this one up just a little bit. But, uh, we're going to shoot it through the, uh, let's get over here. We're going to shoot it through the, a couple of the uh, famous rounds here. 5.56 five, versus the 30 up 6 AP green tip. This is a heavy penetrator. Uh, I believe it's 55. Or these are going to be uh, 65 grain, I believe, or 62 grain. Full metal jacket against the 30 up 6 AP World War II air round. Are you safe behind a tree? Against either one of these? Let's find out. After you guys burn that w, W2 ammo through your rifle, be sure to clean it real good because of corrosive materials in it will rot your barrel out pretty quick. Just a note. Correction, this is uh, round one coming up. Stay tuned. All right, round two, here we go. This is a uh, green tip. Five, five, six, 62 grain, full metal jacket. Let's see if a uh, tree will protect you. And that's a uh, oak tree from the East Texas Pine Woods. Stay tuned. Yeah, the 5.56 five, definitely penetrates and it's a great round to keep in the hunt. 
So what do y'all think? Uh, are you safe behind an oak tree from a green tip five, five, six round? Mm, probably not. All right, let's move up, step it up here to the 30 off six AP World War II round. Stay the, tuned. Uh, day uh, night scope, ATN. And uh, if you order one of these, get the low, 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 low mounts because it is way too high. Don't use those mounts they give you. But this is on a 30 off six. Uh, Mossberg Patriot. This is the one you see advertised for $7.99, $800, dollars whatever it is. Plus grills that will fit the scope if you're using a bolt action. If you put that scope on that AR, yeah, it's all right, but that's a heavy, heavy gun. So I figure I'm gonna really get one shot because uh, you don't have that wide of a view with it. So if I'm gonna make one shot, I'm gonna make sure the 30 up six is the round, the preferred round I'm gonna use on the, uh, on the hunt, so. Probably do a little review on this rifle. Um, I've had it a while, I just don't have a lot of time to do any shooting. It takes a while to get all this set up for you guys. Especially when you start filming, everything takes time. So, but uh, it's been a decent little, little uh, scope so far. I think I've shot one hog with it at night time. So, but anyway, let's get back to it and see what that. AP round does to the tree. If you think the, uh, the tree is going to stop a armored piercing round, comment in there and let us know. Stay tuned. All right, let's see if this uh, AP round 30 out 6 grandpa's round can penetrate a uh, the log that we split and uh, see if you're safe hiding behind a tree against these. Yeah, here goes the uh, 30 off 6 AP round. I seen it move it. Holy smokes. Yeah. I think that thing sailed on through the next tree.
bottle, so yeah, that's it. Okay. back there I think but we're not getting no coke bottle so I'm gonna go left because I always pull the right a little bit but I need to be right through there to make contact I'll fire in the hole and get reset I'll go on 10 I always lie to throw myself off on 10 Yeah, the ATN scope, the rangefinder was detecting 164 yards. So I was shooting low at about 75 yards. But after editing and watching this video, be on the lookout for an upcoming video and we'll see how far this armor ground AP 30 up six will go. I'll try to put some plates up or and uh, see what will stop this round. So. Y'all be on the lookout for that, this upcoming video in the future. Stay tuned. I'm going 10. I think I heard a ricochet on that. The armored 30 off six, but it's just barely missing the, the bottle. Got a lot of shade right here, but this is definitely going through. So I don't think you would be safe behind a tree with an armored AP round off a of 30 off six. We just we should have brought a jug and put behind it. I was just barely missing that Coke bottle, so alright. We'll get these up here. Analyze them a little bit. Oh, it sure is windy today. Been a lot of tornadoes lately, but uh, if y'all can hear me with the wind, I'm gonna try to block it and make this quick. But and that, my friend, is an exit. So, that round traveled through this tree, this tree, and this is hard oak, it's fresh. I mean, it's pretty green still, it'll burn, but I mean, it's not dead wood or nothing. But uh, it's what you'd want for your fireplace. Good, probably, I don't know, year old, good firewood. But uh, so if you were behind a tree, if somebody shot the 30 out six AP round at you, you have a very good chance of uh, not surviving the impact. Only the Coke bottle would survive. See a hole coming out through there. But that's a pretty big, big exit wound for the armor ground, World War II round. So they were going through this when I had it like this. And you can see they were hitting through this log. And these, these logs are you know, 10 inch. What you'd get cover behind, you know. And I think it would probably go through a third. The Coke bottle deal, the neck was up here. So it barely missed the neck of the bottle all good effect for it but oh well it is what it is but it definitely penetrated to uh, red oak uh, red oak trees if you're trying to hide behind so I got a little rack of it right here go in our firewood rack already well ventilated firewood so should 
start up pretty good, burn a hole right through it. It's wearing when we need it. All right, y'all, that'll conclude the test on the uh, green tip versus World War II rail. No Coke bottles were hurt in making this video. We want to wish y'all a safe hunting season 2021 and all upcoming hunting seasons. We appreciate y'all tuning in and make sure to hit that like and sub button. And if you want to support the channel, check this video out. We shot a rabbit, rabbit. that had a uh, bot worm, wolf worm embedded in it. And uh, pretty disgusting. So uh, check it out if you want to support the channel. Thanks for all our subscribers. Peace out.